welcome back to my channel. Today, I have another Munchies from the movies. Actually, this is more of a short film, but if you guys like Pixar, I'm sure you watched the newer one that came out with Incredibles 2 called Bao. Super cute story, super cute moral. It's, it was just an overall good mini short. I mean, Pixar, I've always loved Pixar shorts, but this one is definitely one of the top three of my personal favorites now. And the director of Bao actually put out her mother's recipe for Bao um, for people to make at home themselves. So I decided to make a vegan version, so instead of having the pork filling that they usually do, I made a tofu filling that turned out super delicious. So I decided to do more of a voiceover um, video for this, just so you can see the technique of folding them. But we're going to start off with four cups of flour to start the, the bao wrapper. And then we're going to match that with some yeast, just a little packet um, of dry active yeast. Then we're going to mix that together and make sure all the dry ingredients are incorporated before we add the water. So you're going to do two cups of water. Um, try to do it slower, like, you can try doing it in increments, but I kind of just dumped it all in and it worked out fine. You do have to get in with your hands after a little while though, so just like dust your countertop with some flour and bring out that dough. And I feel like with mine personally, it came out a little sticky. Um, I definitely needed to add some more flour, so definitely make sure that it's not completely dry, but make sure it's not very sticky. It will make it, it will make it a lot easier to manage. So just knead that for a couple minutes, make sure that it's at the right consistency that you want. And then we're going to go ahead and put that in a greased bowl, and I used an olive oil Pam spray to grease my bowl, just so it doesn't get stuck in there after it develops. And we're just going to plop that in there, let that rise for two hours. Oh, and make sure that you cover the dough while it rises as well. So let's start the filling. So I'm going to just use some sesame oil as the fat base in this. I also took some garlic, that's about four cloves of garlic, and a little bit of ginger. I didn't have much left, so I just used what I had left, which is about maybe like half an inch. And then a whole block of tofu. So I crumble that up and make sure it was, uh, what's it called? I pressed it for water and then put that in there. I also had some green mix that I had in my fridge, so I just chopped that up and it has kale, rainbow chard, and some baby spinach just to add some more color to it and some kind of veggie. And also my tofu was getting kind of stuck to the pan, so I just added more uh, sesame oil when it was needed. Then I took two tablespoons, oh it's a little bit more, like three tablespoons of soy sauce, added that, and then some agave. Um, I bet I used about a tablespoon of agave and then a nice sprinkle of crushed red pepper flakes. And then I used this umami seasoning from Trader Joe's. It's super good. I use it all the time. Um, it really brings out the umami flavor in the food, so I'm going to add some of this as well and some sweet chili sauce to kind of give it a little kick. The filling isn't spicy at all, it's actually really nice, um, and the sweet chili sauce adds a very minor kick. And then I added three stalks of chopped green onions, and I made sure to add that near the end. Then I made sure I tasted it, made sure it was all good. Um, I added a little bit more of the umami seasoning and some more soy, more soy sauce and all that good stuff. So just make sure that it's seasoned to your taste. Look at the dough. It really, really grew in two hours. So we're gonna go ahead and put that aside. I'm gonna flour this uh, countertop again because like I said, mine was a little too sticky. So I had to knead it a little bit more once it already kind of proofed. So I just kneaded that, added more flour. I tried to do the windmill technique like she does in the video, but I failed because it was just way too sticky. But I just made sure it was in like a long tube and then I started cutting them in about one inch pieces. And then I rolled those into balls and put them aside to kind of let them rise again from the yeast. And this process is not easy. <laughs> this took me three hours overall to make the dumplings, but it was so worth it. I had so many dumplings afterwards 
that I was eating good for days. Um, and then I started filling my little dumplings. I rolled them out, made sure they fit pretty much in the palm of my hand, and then made put enough fillings. I feel like I could have added more filling to the dumplings. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like hard to do kind of like this wrapping and twisty motion with them. It's all very, it took me a while to get. And then after I made quite a few dumplings, I actually only had about, or I had eight wrappers left before I realized I ran out of filling. So I decided to make another filling on the spot. So I had um, the, this vegetable mix, put that in the um, food processor and made sure it was cut up all tiny and took some of the sriracha baked tofu from Trader Joe's, which is super delicious by the way if you haven't tried it, and just threw that in the uh, food processor with it. And then I used the same seasonings from the tofu filling before and it turned out so good. The only difference I made is that I made it more spicy so I added more of the ch uh, crushed red pepper flakes. I also added a garlic chili sauce instead of like the sweet chili sauce. So there, it was nice having two different kinds of dumplings. From what I heard, you can change the color of the dumpling wrappers if you're doing different ones so you know which one is which. So in the future, I'm going to try and maybe use like beet juice um, in half of the wrapper uh, dough so that it turns pink. You could also do it with spinach juice and it'll make the wrapper turn green. So I think I'm going to do that and maybe do like a dim sum party. I think that'd be really fun. So now that I've had some more practice, I want to show you guys actually how you fold the bow. So you take the wrapper. Uh, roll it out and then you add a generous portion of the filling into the dumpling and then you kind of like pleat the sides like so and then you're gonna twist it once you have all the pleats together and that's how it gets that like puffy dumpling look there we go and here are the finished dumplings. It made so many dumplings. I think it made about 40. Um, I had 32 of the normal filling um, and an eight of the spicy one. They were so good, you guys. It's so nice. You can just throw them in the freezer when you're done. I just wrap them up with saran wrap and then I just, when I want one, I just toss it in the, um, I just toss it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And then you have pretty much fresh bow <laughs> that you made yourself. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really loved this recipe. I'm definitely gonna be experimenting more with different kind of dumplings and such. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.